The Duke of Wellington statue in Glasgow is a well-known landmark that has become synonymous with the city's humour and irreverent spirit. For decades, the statue has been adorned with a traffic cone on its head, which has become a beloved tradition in Glasgow. The practice of placing a traffic cone on the statue's head began in the 1980s, when a group of students placed a cone on top of the Duke's head as a prank. The authorities attempted to stop the tradition by removing the cone, but it only made the situation worse, as more and more people started placing the cone on the statue's head. Over the years, the cone has become a fixture of the statue, and it has been the subject of numerous incidents and controversies. In 1999, the cone was stolen by a group of students from the University of Glasgow, who claimed that they were liberating it from the statue. The cone was eventually returned to the statue, but the incident sparked a debate about the significance of the cone and its role in Glasgow's culture. In 2013, the Glasgow City Council attempted to put an end to the tradition by raising the height of the statue's plinth and installing CCTV cameras to monitor the area. However, this did little to deter the cone-placing pranksters, and the tradition continued unabated. The cone has also been the subject of various incidents of vandalism, and political statements. In 2014, during the Scottish independence referendum, the cone was painted with a yes sign, which was seen as a political statement by some and a humorous prank by others. Despite the controversies and attempts to stop the tradition, the traffic cone on the Duke of Wellington statue has become an iconic symbol of Glasgow's culture and humour. The cone has inspired countless works of art, music, and literature, and has become a beloved part of the city's heritage. In conclusion, the Duke of Wellington statue and its traffic cone had have become an enduring symbol of Glasgow's humour and irreverent spirit. Despite the controversies and attempts to stop the tradition, the cone has remained a fixture of the statue, and has become a beloved part of the city's culture. The cone's significance and meaning may be debated, but there is no denying that it has become an iconic symbol of Glasgow and its ability to find humour in unexpected places.